Ooh, child. Another early morning. I'm tired. But I'm on my way to the gym. Girl. <laughs> Shout out to Tika Naturals, bitch. Okay. So, last night, um, I bottled up <laughs> my hair oil. And um, I'm going to throw a little picture. You know, you guys can preview. You'll be the first to, you know, see Hello Gone. I'll, I'll insert that here somewhere. And, uh, honey, when I tell you, whew, I outdid myself. <laughs> I'm so proud. You know, and you just see something that's yours and with your label and just, ugh. And that's why I just keep coming back to it. You know, it, it's true what they say. Maintaining a business, it, it is work. And um, I'm just blessed to be able to at least, you know, of course I would love uh, the level of consistency as every other business, right? But because for me, it's been feeling like I do like pop-up shop type of vibes, you know, like I, I want to, yeah, I got to do some things. I got to get a website. I got to, I got to do the business business aspect of it all um but i'm just I, I love seeing my products and i love seeing other people with them if you've bought tika naturals you still have some of my stuff laying around take a picture of it you know post it uh, tag me in the post you know i'd love to see it just something about that i love it but yeah, so the hair oils are done, bottled. Um, so I haven't announced pre-order situations as of right now because um, I wanted to wait until I had everything at the almost at the almost ready. You feel me? <laughs> but girl, when I talked about my hair oil a couple videos ago, I ended up getting about ten emails. Yes. <laughs> 10 emails um i believe five or six of them were returning customers and about maybe four of them were new customers and uh i was just like girl <laughs> it seemed unfair you know business is business girl you know what i'm saying you gotta you get what you can um and uh, accompanying those emails you know were pre-order type vibes and I was like well damn and my brother already prepaid for four of them so by the time I announce pre-order sale <laughs> information um, I believe I'm gonna be sold out so shout out to um, Tika Naturals the Unity Hair Oil Girl and um, yeah, <laughs> so that's why I got to get on my shit because girl, I'm a very, very small business. I can only produce so much of a product. You know what I'm saying? And everything is handmade, natural, organic girl. Like I don't fucking play over here. So girl, I'm just excited. And, um, yeah, shout out to, you know, Tika Naturals, bitch, period. Um, girl, so let's move on. I'm a, again, I, I need to go to the gym. I got a lot of shit I got to do today. But I want to say this, girl. Okay, so the lottery, the Powerball is up to $875 million. Girl, that is uh, a few, you know, millions, girl, away, away from a billion, honey. And I just was thinking to myself, like, you know, let me go grab some tickets, bitch. Okay, like... <sighs> It's true what they say, you know, you gotta play to win. So let me just go ahead and get what I can. And I just was thinking about it like, girl, I hate the way they entice us, especially the ones in poverty, you know, the ones that need money, the ones that are, have always struggled, you know, and, and that carrot just dangling, just you're, you're gonna spend, you know, a couple dollars child on just the idea, the hope, you know what I mean? That that you could be one of the ones, girl. The chosen one, girl, okay? 
And I just think to myself, like, what could I do with that kind of money? Drop that in the comments. Let me know if you won a, a mega prize such as, you know, almost a billion dollars. Well, in the state of Florida, I don't know how any other state works. Um, it's 48%, I believe, that they take. So let's say someone wins the 875 because, you know, if nobody wins, it just keeps going up. So if nobody wins, the eight, if, if someone wins 875, child, 48% of that would probably be about what, four, 430 million dollars or some shit like that. Girl, it's rich shit still. And I just was thinking to myself like, what would I do with that? So I asked y'all the same questions. What would y'all do with the money, okay, if you want? For me, um, I am immediately um, going into obscurity, period. <laughs> Bitch, I will be somewhere where no one knows me, you know, because with the lottery, if you want to remain anonymous, you know, every state is different, but in the state of Florida, you have to publicly claim your prize unless you get some type of a state attorney and then you have all of the funds put into some type of a state account or some shit. I forget how that works, but it's a lot of legal mumble jumbo and um, a, a lot of things you got to go through. Um, but honestly, I don't really give a damn about people knowing. Um, I might take the anonymous route because I have heard stories about, you know, the horrific shit that happens to people after they win um, mega prize lotteries, girl. Like, but there's no one that can hold anything over me. So I, I don't really care. And then I'll have so much money, I'll just pay someone to kill you. <laughs> like, period, girl. Like, with that kind of money, my reach will be long, girl, and far and wide, bitch. So, you know, don't play with rich people because they will make your ass disappear, girl, period. Have you swimming with the fishes, bitch? But I probably would just, just to protect my identity and just, I don't know, depending on what they say that process is looking like. But then again, girl, what's worth having is worth waiting for. Bitch, I've been poor my whole life. I can wait a couple of weeks or a month or two until the, until the funds clear anonymously, okay? So once I do that, well, before any of that, Cause let's take a few steps back real quick. Um, there's been a lot of bullshit when it comes to the lottery. People thinking that they won or they actually did hit all the numbers. Then they get to the lottery office. The lottery tells them, girl, it was a malfunction. First of all, I don't know how those places are still standing. Because, <laughs> bitch, I will rip that thing off with even the scaffolding, girl. Let me tell you something. You would thought a bomb over Baghdad, girl, just came through on your ass. Um, and nine times out of ten, all of those people probably told their boss what they thought of them, girl. Hello, gone. They probably, girl, did all kinds of shit and um, made it happen. Made it happen, girl, in the bad in a bad way. Said all the things you needed to say to a bitch you've been having harboring feelings for, girl. All kinds of shit. So I need to first make sure that I have indeed won the lottery. Okay. Period. Once I have confirmed and reconfirmed and re reconfirmed that I am actually a winner, girl, then we shall begin, okay? So I'm definitely going to get the fuck out of where I'm living. Um, I'm not even going to come back. I'm just going to get all, I'm just going to grab my safe with my personal information in it, girl. Um, and I'm gone. I don't need nothing else. I'm going to go ahead and pay. Um, some Mexicans girl to move all that shit out um, what's useful donate what isn't throw that shit in the trash um, I'm gonna pay my car off get it fixed I'm gonna donate donate this shit to somebody I will more like I said I'll be in obscurity girl hello God and um, so basically at probably <laughs> the four seasons girl hello <laughs> the four seasons bitch chilling getting my affairs in order you know getting a lawyer probably talking to a financial advisor um, obviously trying to get people around me that I can trust because I think that's a big thing a lot of people change when you know you see it all the time and like I said there's a whole show dedicated to girl when winning the lottery goes wrong bitch 
like the aftermath, girl, people being held for ransom, girl, people getting kidnapped, people getting robbed, blackmailed, all kinds of shit, no ma'am. So I just wanna make sure I have the right kind of people around me. So the first step is to obviously go somewhere where no one knows you, collect your thoughts, and really think hard. Cause now you're in a whole nother league of life, bitch. Think about that. It's not just about being rich or wealthy. You, especially if you don't know what that means, you don't know what that feels like, you're new to that, you gotta make sure you're grounded, girl. Hello. Of course you're gonna get all your things. <laughs> okay, girl. H-class rocks and charms like bohemians. <laughs> okay, girl. You're gonna get your diamonds. You know, you're gonna get, th that stuff comes with that. That's why that stuff is mentioned damn near last in this conversation, at least as it pertains to me and what I would do with the money. Um, as I'm sitting in um, <laughs> the, the presidential suite, hello God, <laughs> talk about being grounded, hello. Um, hmm. I will be working on plans to purchase a bunch of fucking land to build a compound on. I believe that it is very important that we have, generational wealth, only happens when you have land and property. And it's better to own the land. Because when you own the land, you own everything on that motherfucker, period, outright. Not paying no taxes on shit, I own it. Keep it in the family. Build value upon it. So a central location for family, friends, and all loved ones, girl. So a, comp a massive compound that houses its own greenhouse situation, girl. I want a farm on that bitch. Horses, cows, all kinds of shit. I want my compound my pro acres and acres and acres and acres of land, girl, hello God, to be self-sustaining. Okay. Um, pouring into Tika Naturals even more. I want to be the sole proprietor, sole investor, bitch. Um, just because, let me tell you something. You got a lot of girls here who say, I'm winning that kind of money. I'm just retiring. No, I don't. You can't sit down and do nothing. When you are rich, you have power. You have influence. You can do things that most people cannot do. So it's your responsibility Hello, God. At least I feel that way. I don't want to put that bitch. Ain't nobody need to be Mother Teresa, but I feel like it is Elon Musk. I believe that it is Jeff Bezos. All of the rich bitches of the world, it's your responsibility to leave the world better than you found it. Hello. So Tika Naturals. I also have the Tika Naturals Initiative, girl. Like, I plan on being a humanitarian, bitch. Hello, God. Hello, God. And prop my family up, girl, because none of us know what generational wealth is like. None of us don't know what no million dollars feels like, bitch. So I believe it's important to establish that. And you do that by building businesses, successful business, buying land and buying property, keeping it in the family, girl. Obviously, one of the things I'm definitely doing is paying off my debt and that of my family and friends' debt. Let's be some debt-free ass bitches, girl. Hello. setting up trust funds and setting up accounts for the little ones girl all of my nieces and nephews will be well taken care of hello god y'all don't have to work a day in your life but i would prefer that you do so come work for tika naturals hello come help uncle run that bitch hello god and then just traveling like obviously some of the things i want to do like i want to see this big ass beautiful world we live in I want to go on excursion. Well, child, not submersive, not submissive bottoms, girl, excursions, girl. I just want to see the world is beautiful. Girl, please, I got my passport like early last year, I think, and haven't done shit with it. So like, let's go, let's do some things, girl. Let's do things we haven't done before. Let's do things we've always dreamed of. We looked at the TV girl and we saw, you know, Real Housewives or Love and Hip Hop and the girls is taking these fucking lavish trips and shit. Let's go, let's, hmm, let's fulfill the dream, girl. You know? <clears throat> yes. Like doing my thing, girl. Becoming a real productive member of society. A, a game changer. Open up my Tika Naturals health and wellness spas, girl. Hello. Let's put some people to work, girl. That's what I feel. That's how you help out too. Building businesses builds what? Hello God, income for all, bitch. The 
get into the media world, take YB Speaks Global, bitch. Hello. There's a lot of things you can do with money. I don't, I don't know. Like I said, we don't need to talk about the things because that, again, that comes with it. You know? Hello, God. Like, that comes with it, girl. Period. Some of the girls be out here, oh, girl, I'm finna buy all the furs and I'm finna get the, the Cartier girl and we finna go to France and shit and we finna buy up all this shit. Nah, girl, that comes with it, girl. Again, it is my humble opinion that we are here, if, if propped up in the right position, we are here to serve. Hello, God. We are here to serve, girl. Look at all these bitches. They here early in the fucking morning, girl. Like, come on. Like, I come here in the morning sometimes because there is nobody in this bitch. Now everybody's in this bitch. Come on, hurry up with your big ass. Look at me. I'm out here just shaming the fat people, girl, and they don't deserve that. And he wasn't really all that fat. Girl, it's, these sun showers get on my motherfucking nerves, bitch. Like, if you're gonna rain, rain. La 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 da 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 rain down on me. Let this Powerball rain on me. Girl, yes. It would change my life, my family's life. It would, it'll change everything, girl. When I mean, when I tell y'all I'm true to what I be talking about, like if propped up in the right position of life, girl, I wanna be someone that's remembered for the good deeds that I'm putting forth because this world is in shambles. And it sucks that it takes money to fix a lot of the problems. At least that's how they, they've designed life. It shouldn't be that way. But girl, you got a lot of these, girl. I heard, ooh girl, I'm getting emotional. Stop, 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 stop. You're about to go into this gym, girl. I heard something and I hope that it's not true. I heard something, girl, and I really hope that it's not true. I heard that this woman, I believe it was in Mexico or Arizona, Texas, somewhere, girl, that a box truck or a semi-truck was inspected and this lady found... dead children by the that by the numbers there wasn't a count but apparently it was piles of children's bodies apparently when she reported what she saw she was found dead herself later on Again, TikTok be on some lying ass, fake ass bullshit. Um, but let's just say, for instance, they are lying, right? That's a, that video is fake, right? These are still the stories that we hear on a daily basis about what's going on around the world as it relates to child trafficking, human trafficking, sex trafficking Carly Russell from Alabama was leaving her job 10 minutes away from home decides I want to grab some food for me and my people on her way home she spots a toddler in the middle of the road she calls 911 and lets them know what's going on she then hangs up with 911 to call her family to let her know what's going on and that she will be on her way once the police show up and they handle and help this child. As she is on the phone with her loved ones, it is said that there's a scream that was heard and the phone just drops. When police arrive on scene, 
Carly Russell and the toddler are nowhere to be found. Her car was there with all of her personal belongings, including her wig. So obviously after work, honey, mama snatched that wig off and was like, girl, please. Okay. But she's gone. This is another situation where these girls, these fucking guys, these evil doing ass bitches out here are upping their game, their tactics to bait and lure people so they can traffic them. And for all we know, that toddler was stolen as well. That's, again, very small compared to the stories that we hear. I hope, um, and let me just add this, hopefully, you know, she's found, girl, and girl, I just, oh, that's just a scary situation. And um, people using your humanity against you. Because let's be honest here, you're driving at night, girl. And you see a toddler walking by themselves on the highway. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? Of course, any decent fucking human being is gonna pull the fuck over. Hello, God. And render assistance to a goddamn baby. Not even thinking, girl, this is a trap. Because you're leading with your heart girl so yeah bitch like to know that and i'm uh, videos and videos and videos coming out people are being uh blatant as fuck and snatching children right when the kids are next to their parents i saw the video of this lady grocery shopping her kid is in the fuck you know how you, the kids be sitting in the in the in the cart child you see this man the lady is, the mother is like looking in the aisle at something. Let's just say she was looking at cereal. And you see this man literally trying to pull the baby out of the cart. There's another video I saw. These people were chasing this little girl. The little girl walks into the thing. They try to snatch her out of the goddamn phone store in broad daylight in front of people. There's videos on top of videos of the snatchings. Can you only imagine what these children, what these human beings go through after they've been after they've been disappeared? Let me give you a little insight. Because again, we're trying to spread awareness. So I want I want like this me explaining this doesn't even reach the totality of the feeling that these people must be experiencing. When you are snatched more than likely in that moment or right when you are pushed into the murder mystery van, bitch, they are going to have a syringe waiting on you to knock you out. More than likely, it's a cheap knockoff of some sleep drug or whatever, right? You know, and nine times out of 10, I've heard stories about when they're doing that, some people actually accidentally die. Maybe using like propofol, you know, the, the shit that laid, um, the, the, the shit that laid uh, Michael Jackson out the pasture, girl. You know, they murdered him, girl, but that's a different story. But girl, like, come on now. Girl, this rain is really doing the most. So if they haven't accidentally killed you by giving you the wrong dose of whatever it is they're trying to use to knock you out with, they're going to drag you to a, 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 a location hub. Hello, God, they have to have a meetup place where they begin the breaking you down process. Hello, God, they're going to shoot you up with heroin. They're going to drug you out. They're going to dry you out. Hopefully you're not feisty or sassy because now they have to beat you into submission, girl. Okay. And a lot of people don't even survive that process. So let's just say you do survive that process. Hello, God. You are then now shipped off to the next location. Now that shipping process can vary, but from what I hear, from what I've read, it goes and goes and goes and goes until you are truly lost. There is no hope of finding you anymore. You have probably been trafficked all across the borders of time and space, girl. Used for sex as a um, escort, prostitute, Some raised as pimps themselves, or a lot of times, huh, 
even what I would consider scarier is a lot of these people are trafficking people and mostly boys because they need to fill their armies. These guerrilla groups, these mercenaries, girl. And from what we're hearing, the government plays a very, very big role in this foolishness. So when I mean, when you have yourself in a position of great power and wealth, use that. That's what I love about Angelina Jolie. Girl, she can still make a good ass movie, but she gonna be out here walking the grounds of life making sure that all of these children in these countries are fed and taken care of, bitch. She's a UN ambassador, hello God. Has done all kinds of philanthropy, girl, and humanitarian work. That's what I'm saying. All these millionaires and billionaires and trillionaires are crying out loud. Y'all got all this money, resources, power, influence. And these and the kids are still going hungry. Kids are still getting snatched up off the street and forced into into into, into trafficking, girl. So yes, call me what you want to call me, but if 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 I am seen fit to be put in a position, hello God. I'm going to go ahead and do what I got to do, period. Anyway, that's all I got for y'all. Be blessed and never stressed. Again, comment down below, honey. Let me know. What would you do if you got the money? If you want the money? <laughs> okay, girl. Yes, God. All right, y'all. Be blessed and never stressed. And I'll take care. Remember that health is truly well. And have a great day, y'all. Take care. Bye.